Wakelet has been an incredible tool to use. When some kindergarten teachers asked me about making playlists for their YouTube videos, I realized that Wakelet was a much easier way to do it. It also allowed them to play the videos without a lot of the distractions that can come up. To create a collection of videos, simply log into Wakelet. You can create a free account using your Google or Microsoft or any email and set up your password. Click on Create a New Collection. Here you can give it a title, add a cover image. You can upload your own image or choose one from the library. For this one, I'm going to pretend this is for Social Studies Unit 4. You'll notice you have some options at the top. I could click to enable copy. So if I share this with others, they could make a copy of their own and add to it with their own resources and it wouldn't touch my original. I can choose to set it to private where only I can see it, unlisted where you have to have the link to see it, or public where anyone can see it. I'm going to leave it as private for right now. The beauty of those settings is that you can change them at any time. Now to add some content. By clicking on the circle with the plus sign, I can paste in a URL, add a text box, search YouTube directly, add tweets, bookmarks, images, PDFs, pull from my Google Drive, or even add a Flipgrid video. So I could put all the materials for this unit in one Wakelet collection. If all you want to add are YouTube videos, then you can go to YouTube and search. Some of the ones I like to use are by his, called History Teachers. So let's add the French Revolution, Black Death, and oh, how about a good Beowulf? I click the videos that I want, and then I click Add. Those videos are now in my collection. I can go in and edit by clicking the pencil and now I can change the title. Maybe I want to put dates in there or remind myself of a lesson I want to do with that. I can edit the text area and then I simply click Save. Over here on the side I could also change the order moving it up or down a single spot or moving it all the way to the top or all the way to the bottom. To help with organization, I can now add a text box and create a heading for that section where I could add bullet points, hyperlinks, make it larger, underline, etc. And then simply click Save. With all the options in Wakelet, I could add all the resources for my unit, including a Flipgrid video where I give directions to my students. Once ready, I can now share it, so let's change it to Unlisted, save and exit, at the top I now have options for sharing, I can even send it to Google Classroom or Microsoft Teams, Remind, Twitter, share it with a QR code, share it with a link. I can also go to the Contributor area and share it with a link. That allows students to add to it, but they can't edit or delete anything else that's in there. They can only add, and they also stay in that collection. They don't go on to the other areas of Wakelet. So it's a great way to collaborate with your students on resources for the unit. Other options you can use, the copy feature, especially good if you want to use the contributor link, but you want to make sure you keep a backup master copy. You can also click on the three dots, the ellipses, and choose a number of other options. Remember if you use PDF that's going to be a paper version and your YouTube videos probably won't play very well. You can also change the visibility or delete the whole collection. Now let's go in and try playing one of those videos. When I hit play, you can see it opens in a fresh window without the collection. And I have all the controls I normally would. I can turn on the closed captions. 
I can see the other videos. I can set it to autoplay the next video, and I can even can go ahead and open it on YouTube, which gives you access to all the comments, the view numbers, and the other videos. I hope you find this helpful.